your homework, you won't. Haven't got any, Mum. Mr Burton says it's a Friday near the end of term, so let us off. Ah, in that case, I've got another little job you can do instead. In here. You've a letter to write. Who to? Oliver. You don't drop friends just because they move away. I haven't dropped him. Haven't you? He's written to you twice. Have you replied? I was going to. Good. So you can do it now while I'm out shopping. on the blink in the machine shop. In here, too. And just as I was finishing the article for the centre spread. Must be some sort of power surge. Well, what's causing it? Fail-safe breakdown? Freak mishap? Who knows? What on earth? That's right. Oh, no. No, I don't believe it. Why not? Why not, indeed? Who else could it be? Can't spot me this time, can you? I don't intend to try. Come on, don't be a spoil sport. As a matter of fact, I'm into sport. Golf, for instance. Ouch! Oh! oh! That's not much of a welcome. Why should I welcome you? You just cleared off without a word. Oh, I thought you'd understand. Don't make excuses. How was I supposed to understand? Do you know how long I search for you? Well, your search is over. I'm back! You haven't changed. What do you mean? You still make mistakes. I do? A golf ball's round. Not oval. <sighs> Hang about, though. You have. What? Changed. I have? Yes. How? Your ears. Uh, I wonder when you notice they're not back to front anymore. No. Are they? They're green. Green? That's the colour I wanted in my tracksuit. Oh. Gone to your ears instead. For the whole two weeks I was away, I concentrated on how to transanimate correctly. Two weeks? Yes. Fifty-two, more like. Really? You were gone for a whole year. Oh. Did you go back to your planet? Don't tell me you started back again. What? Talking to yourself. Or talking to the furniture. I thought you'd grown out of that. Did you want, Zoe, to borrow a red pencil? Use your own. I can't. I left it at school in my pencil case. Pens, rubber, sharpener, everything. Here. Take this. Thank you. It's blunt. Then sharpen it. OK, what? You can detransanimate objectify now. What? Stop messing about. You know you'll have made a mistake and I'll spot you. Hey, This is my red pencil. But the other one's... Sorry! Sorry! Did you find another girl to help with next week's delivery? Yes, no problem. Nice photo of the prize giving. You can just about see me in the back row. <laughs> Sorry! No! Use this pencil, please. This one will be fine. Once I've sharpened it, I don't want it sharp. Why not? Something special about it, is there? So we just hand it over. Hey, Dad, look at this. Why mirror writing? I... why not? Because it doesn't make sense, that's why not. And all I'm offering to do is sharpen it. Here. All yours. <laughs> taken you long to get me into a scrape, has it? I'm the one who nearly had my toes cut off. Stop! Not a chance. I'm not letting you loose in there again. Oh, I'm starving! I know. You've had a long journey. Hmm. I need energy. I've had to transanimate objectify twice. And in here is a fridge crammed with delicious mouth-watering food. Oh, well, put me down. You move things around a bit. What are you doing?
money. But I thought that was obvious. Questions? Spot on. You can be very cruel. <laughs> That's horrible! You knew that, didn't you? <laughs> this is what is known on Earth as a standoff. On my planet, too. I've got something you want. And? You know something I want. Well? You first. What happened? I managed to contact my planet. Go on. I had to go home. Without telling me first? Well, there wasn't time. I was needed urgently. I'm... What are you doing back here, then? Can I have one of those if I answer? Well, my uncle started rounding up all my friends and supporters. So they got me out before I was caught, too. Won't your uncle set Gemmida onto you again? Gemmida? <laughs> He's disappeared. No one's seen or heard from him. Fish paste. Mm. He can't have just disappeared without a trace. Can't he? You don't know my uncle. Your uncle's still reading, then? That's a stupid question. Of course he is. And my apologies, your royal prince of the realm. Oh. Quick, turn to me to cheat to fight! I can't! <laughs> just uh, dump them on the table. Uh, can I help you unpack? <laughs> no, I can manage. Uh, Thanks for your help. Oh, my pleasure, dear lady. As luck would have it, I was on my way here. Advert for your admirable newspaper. Do you mind if I take the shortcut? I hate this place. Rotten, drafty old shed. Well, why didn't you try and animate Objectify? I couldn't. I told you. Until I get some food, I won't have any energy. Well, for goodness sake, heat up. Afternoon, young Sean. Afternoon, Jones. My regards to the furniture. You see what you're doing to me? That's the second person who thinks I'm talking to the furniture. Afternoon, young Zoe. Afternoon, Jones. What can I do for you? Advert. Too late for the next edition, am I? Not at all. I'm just setting that page out now. I need an assistant. Assistant? What for? Help in the tea room. Cousin Hilda has gone to Scotland and left me in charge. Scotland? Why? Elderly relative indisposed. Hilda's ministrations required. Oh. Writing clear enough? Certainly. What's the damage? Let's see. Hilda's tea room needs young temporary assistant, good wages, free meals. Eleven words. That could be... Ten. How come? Tea room's one word. I've always written it hyphenated. It's optional, but for this purpose, Zoe, we'll call it one word. How much longer have we got to stay in this rotten old shed? It's too risky to leave now. Mum will be in the kitchen. You don't know that? I hope she is. Otherwise, I'm in more trouble. I'm supposed to be writing a letter. Have you seen Sean? Well, he was over here. Isn't he in the house? No. Probably gone out. He's been acting a bit weird. Spike's still in the yard. Ah, yard. A clue. Perhaps I can help. Try the shed. Oh, good heavens. <coughs> Duty calls. Mustn't linger. Cheerio. one way of getting out of the washing up. It's not his turn, it's yours, Zoe. Oh, Mum, there's a programme on in five minutes. Go on, I'll volunteer. Oh, Dad, you're an angel. They're showcasing a new pop group. In that case, Sean, if you're hoping to get any sleep, you better stuff cotton wool in your ears. <laughs>
Contact your planet. Now look what you made me do. At least stop and think first. I promised to let my friends know I'd arrived safely. And you're always going on about keeping promises. What well, shows some sense? Your uncle might pick up the signal. He might. And if he knows where you are, then he'll order Gemita to zap you. Zap me? Rub you out, polish you off. I'm not dirty. You're not dim either. No, there's plenty of light in here. Gemida will put your lights out, giving her the chance. Will you stop going on about Gemida? I don't want to hear that rotten name. Out of sight, out of mind. Typical. Oh. Ah, I've done it. I've got through. I've made contact. I'm having to bounce the signal off the moon again. But they should be able to receive it. How will you know? They'll reply. No need to do anything. It'll go on transmitting. What? The longer you keep that going, the more chance there is of Gemma... To... I've already told you. I don't want to hear that name again. What's this? Hilda's tea room needs young temporary assistant, good wages, free me... free meals. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. You can't. Why not? Your ears. I can wear my hat. Where is my hat, by the way? In my room. Who knows? I might even be able to persuade Hilda to make me some from decker pies. That's it! They've got my signal! And first thing in the morning, you can take me to the tea room. I don't think this is such a clever idea. What? Posting a letter? You know exactly what I mean. Going to Hilda's tea room. I'd be rather a good assistant. The idea is to serve the food to the customers. Not stuff yourself. <laughs> hey, watch it! <laughs> Idiot, you'll do yourself an injury! <laughs> and you reckon you'll live for 3,000 years? Wee! <laughs> <laughs> 